guys welcome back to my channel my name is Melissa and if you're new here I want to welcome you today I am going to be do, doing a get ready with me um, so I want to apologize for the way I look right now <laughs> hopefully I don't scare you and I want to apologize for this mess behind me I am in our bathroom and we are currently painting where the commode area is so everything that was over the commode and on the walls and everything is in the rest of my bathroom so what we're going to be getting ready with today is Rimmel. I'm going to attempt to do a full face of Rimmel products. I purchased at Walmart. I got two eyeshadows and they don't say what color they are. They're just a number 004 and a 006 and a pink and a brownish color. And then I purchased a blush and it's in the color of Wild Card 003. But what I didn't pay attention to was the fact that if I wear these eyeshadows, this blush doesn't go. They don't. Yeah. So, I may not use this blush. I may use just a, a pinky color that I have. But I do have the uh, primer. And I have bought this foundation, Rimmel foundation, but it is too dark for my skin at this time. I tried it yesterday, way too dark. So I went and purchased the Rimmel Match Perfect. And the shade is a lot better for what I need right now. And I also have, I don't have a whole lot of room because I've got it piled full of makeup. So I'm trying to scrummage through what I have here. But I purchased the Stay Matte Concealer. That was what was new and that I was excited about trying. And then I also have the Rimmel Stay Matte Lipstick. So, the lipstick and the blush kind of match, but anyway, so we're gonna start out with the Rimmel Primer. It is Makeup Primer, Mattifying, Stay Matte, and it's pore minimizing, shine controlling, hydrating feel, smooth skin. Lord knows I need all that I can get. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit on my hand and it comes out white. And I hope I didn't just put too much. And I'm gonna set it to the side over here so it doesn't get in my way. I don't be surprised if half of this don't fall off my little counter here. But in my, uh, my phone is kinda cockeyed because I didn't have a whole lot of room to set my tripod. So yeah, all right, we're gonna blot that in and try to fill up them little holes. I didn't get all my eye makeup off good, did I? And then we're gonna rub it in the rest of the face. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish myself getting ready, my makeup and stuff. And then, well, we gotta pat it in. Sounds like I'm beating myself to death. But we're gonna finish getting ready and then I'm going, or my face, then I'm going to go off camera and do my eyelashes. And if y'all would be interested in seeing a video and how you do, excuse me, I've been drinking too much coffee. Um, and how I do my eyelashes, just leave me a comment below. It's not hard, the biggest and the most important thing when doing eyelashes is waiting. After you put the glue on, I've got to wet my sponge, so I should have already done that, but I didn't. But the biggest and most important thing about putting on eyelashes is waiting after you put the glue on for it to get very tacky. Let me grab my towel. So that way when you lay them on there, it will stick in order for you to put the rest down where they go. All right, I'm gonna shake up my Rimmel good. And I've got to have, I use, for these ones that don't have a pump, and this one don't, and I hate that, doesn't have a pump. I just use, some people have the prettiest little um, ceramic things to, to do this with, but. I'm not spending money on stuff like that. I use a CD case, trusty old CD case. 
me move my mirror. I'd hate to break that and have seven years of bad luck. But I use my trusty little CD case and I put a little bit, well, if it comes out, a little bit of foundation on there. And we're gonna set that to the side. See, it works just as well. And that probably costs you nothing because people's probably got them laying everywhere. All right, so we're going to use a little bit of foundation on my trusty little dirty sponge. <laughs> I cleaned it, but it still looks dirty. And we're going to pump it in everywhere. And try to, oh, I had some stuff to put on these little red spots on my face, and I forgot to put it on. Oh, well. But we're going to blot this stuff in. And we're going to wear it. I have to go to work today. I have to work 1 to 5. And I work at an urgent care, fast-paced urgent care. And they are, on Sundays, you wouldn't think it, but on Sundays we are super swamped. But I am going to try to check in throughout the day to see how this wears. See if it sets in my pores. I know it's going to set in my wrinkles because I have tons of them. But hopefully... It will last, it's supposed to last 24 hours, I think. It has an SPF of 20, which is good. And it's a 24 hour moisture. And it's supposed to have high blurring effect. So we will see. It doesn't say nothing about lasting 24 hours, just the moisture is supposed to last 24 hours. I didn't do my research, so I don't know how many colors of this foundation there are. So, I should have done my research. Maybe I can find out and then link it below or put it in the comments below. Well, would you all do this weekend? Anything fun? Me and my hubby, I had to work yesterday too. I worked 8 to 6. This was my weekend to work. When I don't work weekends, I have my granddaughter, and I love those weekends. I can't wait, because this next weekend when she comes, I have plans to turn the music up and dance. I'm just in the mood to dance with her. But, speaking of the weekend, that's what we did last night. We went to the American Legion, which is really close to us, and listened to the band. And I, I'm not going to down, I'm, I'm not going to down them. They hadn't been there in 25 years, but all I can say is I know why. <laughs> it was, it starts at 8 o'clock. We was done, gone, and out of there by 10.30. But, needless to say, in that two and a half hours, I managed to drink. And I'm not a drinker. But, I did dance. A few dances while I was there, so that was fun. Got to see some friends that I hadn't seen in a while. I'm going to see if this will build up a little bit more on the nose and around them imperfection area. I just don't feel like it's covering my nose good. On my cheeks. The cheeky, cheeky cheeks. And if I don't use all Rimmel, I'll tell you what else I'm using. Because I'm not using all Rimmel. But, I like Rimmel. Rimmel's good. The prices are on cue. You know, they're great. But that's the foundation. Okay, now we're going in with the Rimmel Concealer. It's Stay Matte. Soft Matte in the color Vanilla. I'm a vanilla girl. I don't know if this color is right for me or not, but I like it. I like the doe food that's on it. If you can see that. You know, back when I was growing up and going to school, I never done stuff like this. You know, I done good. I never wore a foundation. I done good if I put on eyeliner. But yeah, I and I always wondered why. All the other girls in school was always so pretty. 
you know, but until I got older and started watching YouTube, I didn't realize what all there was out there that you could actually do to your face, you know, to make it look better. Now, I contour just right here and underneath the chin and on top, and I use the Wet n Wild contour. It says makeup stick. <laughs> Duh. But yeah, that's what I use, and it's in the color, if I can see, Call Me Maple. <laughs> I like that. Call Me Maple is what color it is. And I just put a line there, a line there, and I try to hide these jaws. You know, the one of the nurse practitioners that I work with, she does Botox and all that good stuff. And she said, I hate this area down here where it all falls as you get older. But she said there's a procedure that you can have done. It's like $1,600 or $1,800 that puts this piece on your under your chin and it has these little needles and it shoots the stuff in there that dissolves all that and it's supposed to never come back. I would almost pay $1,600 to get rid of all this because I absolutely hate it. I know it's just part of getting old, but I don't want to get old. Who wants to get old? Nobody. I take that from my mom, I think, because she's she hates being older. She does not want to get old for nothing. But she's like the Energizer Bunny. She keeps going and going and going. The woman is 80 years old. She has broken both ankles. She's had a shoulder replacement. She's had a heart attack. Had pins put in her knee or her leg and had a car wreck. And the woman keeps going. She is my go. I mean, my, what do you want to call it? She's my hero. Yeah, if I can keep going like her, if I'm even alive at the age of 80, it will be a world world record. I forgot to contour my nose. Not that it makes a whole lot of difference in this big honker, but I like to do it. You know, if it comes down to having to make a choice, whether doing makeup videos or doing clothing videos, I believe I would rather do clothing videos. Because I like, they're so much more fun. But I'm so addicted to shopping, I can't seem to try stuff on and not have to think I have to buy it. Well, we are going to press that down. This one we're just going to blot in. Kind of swipe up towards the hair. I think I kind of got it too dark, don't you? I look like an Indian. I got my stripes on. And then this side, the contour, I just brush up in an upward stroke. And do the same to this side. My husband's currently in there fixing me breakfast. Can you believe that? He is such a good man. We've been together for 22 let me see, my son's 20. So we've been together 23 years. And we have a son together. His name is Dawson. And he is almost 20. He moved out on his own. And we let him, or dad let him. And now my nest is empty and it's killing me. I want him home, back home so bad. Then my, my husband has a son, the age of 28. I have a daughter the age of 28 by previous marriages, and there, my 20-year-old is Dawson, my 28-year-old is Amanda, and his son that's 28 is Colton, and we have four grandbabies, and I can't wait till the week, you know, every other weekend I get our grandbabies, and I absolutely love it. I just absolutely love it. Okay, I'm going in with Milani primer for my eyes before I start putting on that big bad boy makeup on my eyes 
but I just put a little bit on my finger and then dab it between the two. I don't put a whole lot, just enough. And one thing I hate about doing makeup is eyebrows. Oh, I absolutely hate eyebrows. But I did purchase me a new eyebrow pencil, and it's Elf. And I like it. It's got the Dofu on one, or not Dofu, but the, what are spoily on one end. And then the pencil part is so thin. Look how thin. So I thought it would be easier and more precise to get in there. But I'm going to attempt to do my eyebrows on camera. So if this part bores you, just speed ahead. Be my guest. Because I hate doing eyebrows. Absolutely hate it. I need to go get them done. I usually do them myself, but time-wise, I don't have the time. And this bench, to change the subject, this bench I'm sitting on, my ass is going numb. TMI, TMI. But, anyway, talking about my kiddos. My son moved out to uh, do the adult thing, he said. He said, it's time for me to act like an adult. And he's 20 years old. Well, I hate to say it, but he's a worker. He's a very hard worker. Getting him there. Whoops. Getting him there to the job. Once you get him there, he is one hell of a worker. He's like me. He's fast-paced. He puts in 120%, and you couldn't ask for a better employee. But it's just getting him there. He has a tendency to miss days. And he'll say, oh, I was sick, or oh, I overslept, or always some form of excuses. I don't know if that's just the youngness in him or what, but I hope it changes because the boy's got to work. Because mom and daddy, if he's going to move out, mom and daddy's not going to fork over money to help, you know, pay for his phone, pay for his car insurance and gas and all that stuff for him to get out here and run around. No, nope, ain't going to do it. So, if he wants to live at home, we can help him. But if he's going to move out, he didn't want to, he graduated high school. He didn't want to go to college right now. He says he's going to go. I made that too big. That's one thing about pencils. If you mess up, you can just wipe it off. I don't like to make them real wide because then I feel like they cover my whole face. But anyway, I wished he would come home. He's He's been through two jobs since he's left because he can't seem to get his hand in there. Well, this last job wasn't his fault. He got hurt on the job after only being there a week or a week and a half, maybe two weeks at the most. But he got hurt on the job, sent to the emergency room. And they, the emergency room put him off from work for a week. And then when he went back, they let him go. They said he got hurt too, too early in his employment with them. But I think personally, I think he missed a few days. And that's one of the reasons why they let him go. It wasn't... You know, he has no case there to try to fight him because of the fact I think he missed a few days. And that's really why they let him go. They didn't think he was dependable. And that's something I tried to instill in my kids is being dependable, you know? Because that's really all a person has. You know, is their word... If you say you're going to do something, do it. You know, be dependable that you're going to do what you say. And that goes with having a job. You've got, you know, if you're not going to get in there and do it, there's somebody else out there waiting. All right, I'm going to go in with all, my whole eyelid with this pink. 
006 color. And I'm going to use the same one I used with my wet and wild one. But we're going to put some of that on there. And we're going to just cover the whole lid or the whole eye area. It's real light, so it doesn't show up that much, which I like. Because I don't want nothing bold, you know. I've been watching some YouTubers and they're saying that how all these dark blues and greens and all that stuff, you know, was really in style. That now lighter colors are coming back in. So light is better. Not wearing your dark, dark browns, you know, the smoky eye and all that stuff. They say to use lighter colors and not so heavy. So, that being said, that's what we're going to try to do. Now, I'm just going to put on this one, which is number 004. Let me open it up if y'all can see that color. It's like a brown. It's really pretty. And I'm going to use my trusty brush. It don't have no name. But we're going to put some on there. And we're just going to put it like in the crease. Uh-oh. My battery's going low, so I better hurry it up. We will do this. And my lipstick, which is all I've got left of Rimmel products. Then I'll go and finish up, and then I'll come back. But we're going to do the eyeshadow real light. So, I was talking about my kids. What else was I talking about? I don't remember. You know, my memory, it goes with age, I guess. I am, for those of you who don't know, I'm 48 years old. Been married for 23. Had three kids, four grandbabies. Um, my mama's still living. <laughs> That's my biggest happiness right there. Um, I work at Fast Pace Urgent Care. My husband works for Zoetis. Um, my kids have all moved out. And my nest is empty. And that is just my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay, I'm going to go in with just a plain brush, clean brush. And I'm going to smooth this out some so it doesn't look so harsh around the edges. They're not quite as even on both sides, but we ain't going to no beauty competition today. Does that look okay? Does that look okay? Yeah, okay. Then I'm going to end with my, I don't know if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. Just a flat tipped brush. Dab it in there and I'm going to put some on the bottom. I'll probably go in. I'll end up getting this all of my contacts, I bet. Does anybody wear contacts and have trouble with them? With your eyes, like, glossing over? It looks like you're looking through a glass. I don't know if it's just my contacts. This is the first time I've ever wore contacts. So, I don't know. I've never got them from another provider before. So I'm wanting to know, does everybody do that? Or is it something wrong with my contacts? Do they not fit right or, or what? So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with, um, I ordered this from Amazon. It's Salavi, C-E-L-A-V-I, and it's waterproof gel eyeliner. I got it in a brown and in a black. And this is the best eyeliner. I don't remember how. It's been years since I bought it. And it's lasted me that long. I got it in black and brown. And it's amazing. You can do it on the outside for your eyeliner. Or you can do it on your waterline. It goes good on the waterline. It's the perfect. I mean, it's just perfect. So I'm using the brown. And I'm just going to darken this up just a tad. A little bit on top. 
But yeah, if y'all have any problems with your contacts or if you do the same thing or if you know what's going on with my contacts, leave me a comment below because I would really, really like to know if it's just my contacts are bad or if they don't fit well. Oops, I messed up a little bit on that one. Got it too wide. Oh well. Hopefully my eyelashes will cover it. Oops, it just broke on me. And I've had it for so long. So, I'm going to sharpen it. With my trusty little sharpener. This is the best thing I have bought. It has five different sizes in it. it. All the clippings stay in here until you empty it out. And if you get something stuck, it's got this little piece in there you can use to pick out the little pieces that are stuck. Boy, it's going to take it down a whole lot, ain't it? There, that's good enough. Then you clip it back up there and nothing comes out. It's super cute. I love it. Man, my butt is really going numb. Okay, so we're going to go back in here just a little bit. And hope not to break it again. something. Alright, we got it. There. That's that. So I'm going to put on a little bit of blush. I think I'm going to use oops, my Laura Geller by New York. And it's in the color Blush and Brighton. And it's pink. I think this is what I'm going to use. what it is but I think I about used it all up it used to come off really really good is that too dark okay then I've got another elf product and it's in the color dark brown I didn't think it was brown Anyway, it says it's dark brown, but I'm going to trim out my lips. Okay. That's on that end, and then this end, it's got a little brush. Isn't that cute? That you can spread it out and use it all as lipstick if you want. But I'm going to use the Rimmel, and it's Rouge, in the color Rouge. Yep. That's super cute. But we're going to use this, and then my breakfast is getting cold, y'all. So I've got to hurry. <laughs> I am not the best at putting on lipstick. Far, far, far from it. But yeah, I am. That's all my Rimmel products and some few others. But I'm going to go and do my eyelashes and put some mascara on. And then I'll be back to uh, check in. So I hope I didn't bore you guys too much. But I'll be back soon. Hi guys. So this is the finished product. And I will check back in. Sorry my lighting's not any good. I'm in the bedroom because my husband's on the phone and talking very extremely loud. So I'm in the bedroom. I'm under the light. Not good light, but... You can see how it's looking right now. My 
camera keeps coming in and out of focus, but I'll check back in throughout the day. I need to reapply my lipstick. But uh, other than that, it's it's been about an hour, hour and a half since I got done um, doing my makeup. I've done a tried all my items I got from Stitch Fix, so check that video out. Um, I put it up before this one. So I'll check back in throughout the day to see how this makeup is going to wear. So stay tuned. Hey guys, it is 12.10, I believe, and I'm doing my first check-in. Everything's looking pretty good. And somebody had made a comment about the concealer. I love it. It is amazing. I like it better than any concealer that I have. And I have the Tarte Shape Tape. I like it better than that. It's not too bright. It's not too dark. It's just right. My blush is a little dark, but I still like it. But it's not setting it's rubbed off some on my, under my chin, I mean, under my nose, where I've been blowing my nose because I have a cold, and uh, which is getting better. But other than that, I think it's holding up pretty good. It's been on about, I guess, about three and a half hours now. So I'm fixing to head to work and deal with the public, which I love because I love to talk to people. So... We'll check in in two to three more hours as soon as I get a chance to hide away from them for a minute. So, y'all just stay tuned. Hey guys, so it's four o'clock in the afternoon and I just wanted to check in and show you how it's doing. I noticed on the way to work it is setting in my fine lines and not so much my pores, but the wrinkles and lines it is and the concealer is sitting in my fine lines and wrinkles too but i don't care what kind of concealer i use it always sits in my wrinkles because i have so many but that being said other than that it's hanging on pretty good i like it anyway there like i said it's coming off my nose where i've blowed my nose so many times today but other than that i mean just looking at it in the phone i don't think it looks too awfully bad so I'll check in when I get home and get ready to take it off and we'll see how it's fared that length of time so stay tuned hi guys so it is seven o'clock at night as you can see it has wore off on my forehead my chin my nose on my face right in there so and it's I've had it on about 12 hours I think the lipstick wears very, very well. It's not tacky or sticky. I absolutely love the lipstick. And the concealer, I like too. As you can see, it's still, still there. But the uh, primer doesn't hold the foundation on all day. So I don't know that I'll use the primer again or very often anyways I'll use it but not very often but the foundation I guess one out of ten I would give it a seven maybe if I was gonna wear it longer than 11 to 12 hours I believe I would pick something else so for a 12 hour day at work this is not going to be my go-to foundation so I hope that review helps you guys out out there uh, so out of all out of the whole Rimmel products that I use, the eyeshadow is still on. The lipstick was extremely well. I loved it. You didn't have to apply very often. And it did stain the lips and it I loved the way it felt. It was just smooth. It wasn't sticky or tacky. The concealer I like and it does set in my fine lines. But that's okay. Every concealer I've ever used sits in my fine lines. If you guys know one that won't, leave me a comment below because I sure would like to know. I've already took my eyelashes off. But uh, other than that, a 7 out of 10, that's not too bad. But it won't be my go-to. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, 
subscribe, hit the notification bell down below. I am going to clean my face and moisturize, and I am going to bed. I've got a long 12-hour day again tomorrow. So you guys have a good night's sleep, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.